Hi everybody, this is Tyler here at Thrust Flights. Today we're going to be doing AD 2020-26-16. It goes into effect February 16th of 2021. And in this AD, it affects all Piper PA-28 and 32 model aircraft. And it is the inspection of the bolts for the wing spars. So today we're going to be showing you what we're doing, what we're looking for, and what that inspection entails. So one of the steps you're gonna to do to comply with this AD is to get access to the nuts that are underneath the wing section and on the bottom of the spar. So you have a plastic cover here that covers all the, bolt, all the nuts and it's held in with three screws and it's held in with a bracket. And once you remove those three screws, you can simply remove your cover and get to your access point to your nuts. And the only ones that you're gonna to have to worry about in this AD are gonna be your front outer two from the fuselage are gonna be the ones that you're gonna to have to focus on. So continuing on from where we were earlier, we already removed the nut from the bottom side of the aircraft so that we have the looseness to get the bolts out. And what we had to do, because these bolts have been in here for so long, is we had to soak them with a corrosion compound to kind of loosen everything up. So what you have to do now is it's easier to remove the, both the front seat so you have more room in the aircraft and you can either lift the seat and go from the back side, which is what I'm going to do, or behind this carpet is another inspection port that you can actually go through. So you just have to climb in here and reach around the back and you can actually get to the bolt from back here. Now it's a tight spot, so it's a little difficult, but it is possible. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. So after we pulled the bolts out, we had somebody come in and do an eddy current inspection on the holes that were in the spar for those forward most bolts. And for anybody that doesn't know what that is, an eddy current is just an electromagnetic test that will read for defects on and below the surface of the spar so we can check and make sure there's no damage, which is the whole point of this AD. Now that that's been done and we know everything is good, we're gonna go ahead and put the bolts back in, get everything torqued back to manufacturer specifications, and then the AD will be complete. 